The last archetype was heavily disappointing, but this one will be a lot better. Like I said in the previous video, this is the Morincess archetype used by Aoi Zizem during her usage of the uh, blue uh, blue maiden avatar, which is her third and the uh, and the last avatar she used all the way until the show ended. So yeah, the Morincess are water cybers spa uh, link spammers. So. Yeah, and in terms of water-based archetype, these are actually my favorite. And I'm saying that because I'm usually not fond of uh, water archetypes uh, when it comes to playstyle and even design-wise. So, yeah, Morinces are actually one of the only water archetypes which I actually find really decent in bo both those terms. And yeah, if I ever to construct mis myself a water deck, it's probably gonna be a Marinces deck. So anyway, let's take a look at them, shall we? We start off with the level 1 Marinces Mandarin. Uh, if you control two or more uh, Marinces monsters while this card is in your hand or graveyard, you can target one water link monster you control. Special summon this card to your zone that, uh, that that monster points to, but banish it when it leaves the field. You can only use this effect of Marinces Mandarin once per turn. It's uh, very good. Good. I would have actually loved it if it actually said uh, doesn't, did not require the requirement of a link monster being on the field in order to special summon this thing. It would make this card miles better. Yeah, I'd still c keep the limitation. I wouldn't I would lose my mind too much over this. Yeah, this thing gets banished when it leaves the field. That's a bit annoying. But if you have like Imperial Iron Wall uh, on the field, then you don't have to worry about that. You have a hard once per turn limitation, which is again a bummer, but completely understandable because if you could basically infinitely special summon this thing you could basically make an extra link in one turn which is pretty busted although there are some various loops you can pull off in order to make extra links both in this deck and there are some other decks since yeah this uh, art that really lo loves spamming so yeah running running three of these is always appreciated Next up we have Marinsa Sea Star. This is our, their first level 2 and you can send this card from your hand to the graveyard and target one Marinsa monster you control it gains 800 attack until the end of this turn and you can only activate this effect once per turn. Um okay, it's a bit of a this, uh, this shitty battle boost but still uh, Marinsa's uh, link monsters usually tend to have uh okay stats the ones which are primarily used for beatdown because we have some of them which are just intended for uh, link spamming they have a link 2 with 2000 attack which is for a link 2 a pretty admirable attack value and not to mention that their link 3 and link 4 also have very big attack values so yeah it can be used as a uh, as a uh, as an option when going in for the kill but uh, I, would, I would not advise running more uh, more than two, so yeah. Next up, we have their first level three, Marinsa Seahorse. You can special summon this card from your hand to a zone to your zone. A link, a Marinsa's link monster points to. You can only special summon her once per turn this way, and during your main phase, except the turn this card was sent to the graveyard, you can banish this card from your graveyard. Special summon one water monster from your hand to a the Arizona Marinsis Link monster points to. You can only use this effect once per turn. Also a 3 of staple because of its special summoning condition because uh, again it, uh, this one requires specifically a Marinsis Link monster in order to work and we'll get to those. They're, they're fine. They're actually more than fine. What am I saying? But yeah. Uh, also has a pretty decent graveyard effect since it actually allows you to special summon any water monster from your decks. So you might actually get a kick of running some Mermails or Atlanteans in your decks uh, if you ever so choose to. So yeah, it's uh, it's also it's a very good card. What can I say? It's uh, always a three of staple. It's a level three, so it opens up some rank three potential if you have multiples on t on the field. So yeah. Their next monster is uh, their first level 4, Marinsa's Blue Tongue. It, uh, it has 1500 attack and 1200 defense, and if this card is normal or special summon, you can send one Marinsa's monster from your deck to, your, uh, to the graveyard except Marinsa's Blue Tongue. 
If this card is sent to, uh, to the graveyard as, as, marine, um, as material for a Link Summon of a Water Monster, you can excavate the top three cards of your deck. And if you do, add one excavated Morinces card from your uh, to your hand. Also, shuffle the rest uh, back into the deck. You can only use this effect uh, of Morinces Blue Tongue once per turn. Yeah, this is a uh, uh, one of the ways you can actually set up your graveyard with the Mar Mandarins if you. Uh, uh, if you summon this, go into their link 1, then resummon Mandarin, go into their link 2. Simple and easy. And yeah. Also, it has a, a very cool uh, floating effect when it's used for a link material, so you can uh, shuffle, uh, excavate through your deck and maybe g get some more combo pieces. Maybe some. If you, if you use this for a link 1, then if you excavate. Uh, uh, seahorse, you can uh, immediately summon that here. Seahorse, resummon Mandarin, and when you go into the Link 2, when along with Mandarin, you go into a Link 3. Yeah, you know, lots of combos are simply available from this one card alone, providing you excavate that Seahorse, which you probably should. You run the Seahorse at 3, and you, you, this card is also ran at 3, so yeah. Next up, we have their other level 4, Marinces Pascalus. This one has 1200 attack and 2000 defense. And if this card is normal with special summon, you can special summon one Marinces monster from your hand in defense position, except uh, Pascalus. And during your main phase, except the turn this card was sent to the graveyard, you can banish this card from your graveyard and target one Marinces spell or trap in your graveyard, add it to your hand. You can only use the, each effect of Marinces Pascalus once per turn. As we'll see later on, the Marinces actually ha will have only one field spell in the entire archetype, which is very weird. Uh, and and uh, the other cards are simply trap cards, but yeah. Again, another b b b wonderfully designed card since it also works very well in conjunction with Blue Tang and both and Mandarin and Seahorse. So yeah, it's... Uh, Another get great play extender. So this is actually a tar a brilliant target for normal summoning, and blue tongue is then usually special summon. So yeah, and then uh, you and then blue tongue dumps Mandarin. Then you go into a link two revive Mandarin. Go into a link three, uh, along with if you excavated the the uh, seahorse, then you go into a link four. Yeah, you can actually build up some very nice field presence with this car uh, with this archetype already so yeah this is uh, also a three of staple and their last main deck monster is Marinces crown tail it's a level 5 with 600 attack and 2300 defense and during damage calculation if an if a monster battles an opponent's monster another monster sorry quick effect you can send one other Marinces monster from your hand to the graveyard special summon this card from your hand and if you do, uh, uh, the damage you take from that battle is halved. At the end of the uh, damage step, if, you know, if an opponent's monster attacks, you can banish this card from your graveyard. Then uh, this turn, you never take ba battle damage if the amount is less than or equal to the total link rating of all Marinces link monsters in your graveyard times 1000. You can only use this effect of Marinces crown tail once per turn. It's a bit of a specific damage negation effect, but it's still a, a, a very formidable uh, form of protection. It r still it requ requires Marinces Link Monsters to be in the graveyard of all places in order for it to be uh, applicable, but it's, uh, it, you, it also serves as decent graveyard setup as the monsters you, you can dump uh, are Mandarin or uh, even Seahorse if you have uh, m ways to revive it. So. Yeah, uh, again, it uh, can be a bit of a bricky choice due to it being a level 5 for some reason. So, running one or two of these is usually fine. Next up we have their first Link Monster, that being Marinces Blue Slug. This one requires a lo one level 4 or lower Marinces Monster, it has 1500 attack, well, Link once points down. And if this card is Link Summoned, you can target one Marinces monster in your graveyard except Marinces Blue Slug added to your hand. You cannot special summon monsters for the rest of this turn except water monsters. You can only uh, Link Summon Marinces Blue Slug once per turn this way. Graveyard is recycling upon Link, link Summoning and that's really... And that's really great, honestly. I would have actually lo loved it a bit more if it actually special summoned the monster to a zone discard points to which allowed you to resummon Mandarin without using its effect uh, which uh, would uh, facilitate usage of more combos uh, upon uh, 
upon Mandarin being revived with her own effect, so... Yeah, a bit of a disappointment there, but still, this is a, a, all around a fantastic card if you're going in for extra links and everything, which is very possible in this deck. However, it's a bit of a bummer that it only restricts you into summoning uh, water monsters, which is uh, a shame, since uh, if you're going in for the extra link build, the next monster you would like to summon is probably Nightmare Cerberus or Nightmare Phoenix, so, which are definitely not water monsters, so... Yeah, but still, uh, you you definitely run uh, uh, two or three blue slugs in your extra deck toolbox. Next up we have their other level uh, <laughs> Link 1, that being Marinsa Sea Angel. Uh, this one is a Link 1 without 1000 attack, uh, same summoning condition wi as blue slug points left. And if this card is Link summoned, you can add one Marinsa spell from your deck... Uh, a sp Marinsa spell from your deck to your hand. You can only Link summon Marinsa Sea Angel once per turn. If you run this, it's not more than one because Marinsas only have one field spell in their entire archetype, and that is actually a field spell which makes it searchable by metaverse and terraforming, so it's actually even questionable if you will ever want to uh, run this in the first place. So, yeah, if you really want to run this by preference and, and not any more than one. Next up, we have their first level 2, Marinsas Coral Adamone. This is a uh, link two points left and down, has 2000 attack, uh, requires two water monsters, and you can target one water monster with 1500 or less attack in your graveyard, special summon it to a zone discard points to. Also, you, you cannot special summon monsters for the rest of this turn except water monsters. If this card is sent from the, the field to the graveyard, you can, uh, you can target one Marinza's card in your graveyard except Marinza's Coral Animal added to your hand, and you can only activate this once per turn. This is, other than Blue Slug, uh, if you ha have the um, resources to make a Link 2 right off the bat, a very, very cool for its turn option since you can actually revive uh, a Mandarin or a, or, or a Seahorse in order to go into a Link 3 and then uh, use Seahorse or, uh, or Mandarin in order to revive them by their own effect and go into a Link 3 or Link 4, so yeah, it's... Uh, not to mention that it has gargantuan stats for a Link 2, so yeah, um, if you go in, in combined with Sea Star, if you actually want to beat over something, this is probably your best option in the Link 2 department. Yeah, run two or three of these. Next up we have their final Link 2, that being Marinces Crystal Heart. This one has is a Link 2 with zero attack, points bottom left and bottom right, requires two water monsters just like Coral Anemone, and well, while this card is in the extra monster zone, it is unaffected by your opponent's monster effects. If this card battles an opponent's monster, that opponent's monster is unaffected. That opponent's monster is unaffected by card effects except its own during damage calculation only. When this card or your Marinsis Link monster uh, this card points to is targeted for an attack, you can send one Marinsis monster from your hand to the graveyard. Uh, that monster you control cannot be destroyed by battle, also you take no battle damage from that battle. Um, it's a bit of a better damage uh, reduction effect uh, in terms of the usage compared to uh, Crown Tail, but... And the downside is, is that um, y that you're, you're freely giving the immunity to mo to card effects to a monster uh, to a monster discard battles. So yeah, the only relevant usage I can think about this card is if you're like battling an opponent's monster and then uh, that opponent's monster is uh, under the influence of some field spells, continuous spells or traps, and then once you attack in with this, you just basically shut down those uh, effects for the turn uh, uh, during that damage step, but uh, it's ultimately pointless. I'm, I'm not sure what uh, why you would want to do this, unless you like bump this thing with some ridiculous attack values, which I'm not sure you how you even do this. Uh, out, uh, even outside of the archetype. Uh, I mean, you can uh, use stuff like United We Stand or Mage Power in order to do that, but again, it's a bit of a pointless thing. Again, if you run this, it's not more than one, so yeah, you m most probably use this in order to go into their high link monsters, so yeah, that's that. 
Their, uh, their link 3 is Marinces Marbled Rock. This one requires 2 plus water monsters, points left, right and down. 2500 attack. And you can uh, target one Marinces card in your graveyard except Marinces Marbled Rock added to your hand. You can only use this effect once per turn. And when an opponent's monster declares an attack, you can send one Marinces monster from your graveyard uh, uh, for that battle. Monsters cannot be destroyed by, ba uh, by that battle, and you t also you take no battle damage. Um, this is uh, this is their only li uh, link three, and it's pretty uh, pretty fine. Nothing too spectacular, but uh, it's a um, it's also offer some nice uh, graveyard recycling and. Uh, and some graveyards set up uh, from the hand, not from the deck, sadly, so... Yeah, it's it's fine at one or two, and it's one of their... Uh, it's one of their lower boss monsters, so yeah, their semi-boss monster, if they... If, uh, how, how, how you wanna call it, so yeah, I got tongue-grabbed again. And their final monster is Marinces Wonderheart. This one's a link 4, points left, right, bottom left, and bottom right. 2400 attack, requires 2 plus water monsters, just like Marbled Rock. And once per battle, during damage calculation, if this card battles a monster, a quick effect, you can special summon one of your Marines' uh, monster cards equipped to this card. Also, this card cannot, uh, uh, cannot be destroyed by that battle, and you take no battle damage from, uh, from that battle. Equip, uh, uh, equip that special summon monster to the, to this card during the, the during the end phase. If this card in its owner's position is destroyed by an opponent's card, you can special summon one link three or lower Marinces monster from your graveyard. Uh, the equipping effect is a bit weird since Marinces monsters usually never focused on uh, around that. And uh, again, it, this is the only card that has this effect. And um, I think some of their trap cards maybe have their and the equip focused effect, mm, I don't think so, but anyway, yeah, this is their biggest of boss monsters, how they are, uh, with, with 100 less attack than Marbled Rock for some reason, uh, but yeah, it's perfectly fine, but not too spectacular, again, it can be a bit of a controversial choice in your Marines' deck, so one or two of these should be okay in terms of usage. Their field spell and their only spell card is Marinces Battle Ocean. All Marinces monsters you control gain 200 attack. Guard Hulk, amazing. Also, each one gains 600 attack for each Marinces card equipped to it. Monsters you control in, a in the extra monster zone that are were Link summoned using Marinces Crystal Heart as material are unaffected by your opponent's card effects. When you link summon a Marinces monster to the uh, to the extra monster zone, except uh, during the damage step, you can equip up to three Mar Marinces link monsters with different names from your graveyard to that link summon monster. This actually gives more incentive to actually run a uh, uh, to run a Crystal Heart, as in when you use it in in uh, order to summon uh, some of their higher monsters, you basically give them a f uh, effect immunity, unaffected by car um, by your opponent's card effects, which is their his the strongest and the best sort of immunity. So yeah, it basically uh, warrants running some additional copies of uh, Crystal Heart, and for, um, for what it does, this field spell actually feels amazing. So yeah, however, it's very prone to removal due, uh, due to due to being a very baity field spell so it's a, it's a prime twin twister target so you uh, usually do everything to protect those field spells so yeah this is the only other card in the archetype which offers the weird equip shenanigans which only wonderheart is uh, has any benefit from so yeah anyway this is a three off staple most definitely and be and crystal heart is one, a one or two off staple so yeah now for the traps. First up we have Marinces Cascade. Banish any number of Marinces Link monsters you control until your next end by phase, then target one phase sub monster on the field. That monster gains attack equal to the Link rating of the monster banished to activate this card times 300. If you control a Link 3 or higher Marinces monster, you can activate this card from your hand. So basically if you control Mar Marbled Rock or Wonder Heart, you can activate this card from your hand. And yeah, it's basically uh, a bit of a attack boost. 
and it relies on banishing link monsters for some reason. I would have actually loved it if it actually can banish some of the other Marines' link monsters. Or water monsters. Okay, that would have been a bit too generic if it ba banished water monsters in order to activate this effect. But yeah, it's a bit of a more... It, it's a bit more consistent uh, attack boosting than uh, Sea Star, which is a, just a measly 800 attack point boost, which is not that relevant these days. So, yeah. Uh, it's a it's a good card. You usually run it at one or two. Next up, we have Marinces Snow. If a Marinces Link monsters you control is uh, destroyed by battle or a card effect, you can target one of those monsters. Link summon one Marinces Link monsters from your extra deck with a lower Link rating that uh, than that monster, as long as you control it. It is unaffected by uh, by your opponent's effects, and you can only activate one Marinces Snow per turn. This is actually a very decent comeback option and protection tool if you if your opponent has found a way to OTK you during that turn while your boss monster is out and then you use this in order to uh, summon another uh, mon another li Marinces Link monster onto the field and this one is unaffected by your opponent's card effects which is uh, which you can actually combo with some uh, cards which pr which protect her from battle in order to save yourself from losing that turn so yeah again just like cascade you usually run one or two of these next up we have their uh, other trap card marinces current when a marinces link monster you control destroys an opponent's monster by battle inflict damage to your opponent equal to the link rating of that uh, monster uh, to the link rating of that monster you control times 400 then if you destroy an opponent's link monster by that battle uh, and uh, while you control the link 2 or higher Marinces monster inflict damage to the opponent equal to that destroyed monster's link rating times 500. You can only activate uh, one Marinces current per turn and if you control a link 3 or higher Marinces monster you can activate this card from your hand. We keep the great alternative uh, summoning, uh, I mean activation condition but if you actually uh, destroy an opponent's link monsters, which is not out of the question since we're in the uh, Reigns link era, so... Yeah, you can actually pull off some ridiculous burn damage with this card, and not, not to mention that... Uh, that uh, uh, you tend to give uh, Marines' link monsters some uh, pretty nice attack boosts, combined with some generic water support and, uh, and also some of their archetypal support, so yeah. This is again usually ran at two or three, uh, depending on your build of XC's monsters. Next up, we have their final card, that being Marinces Wave. If you control a Marinces Link monster, target one face-up monster on the uh, monster your opponent controls. Negate that face-up monster's effects until the end of this turn. Then, if you control a Link two or higher Marinces monster, all face-up monsters you currently control are unaffected by your opponent's card effects until the end of this turn. If you control a Link 3 or higher Marinces monster, you can activate this card from your hand. Uh, it's okay. Uh, it's um, it, it's spot negation, which is basically a uh, hot red dragon arch in the bish spot negation. I would have loved it. Uh, yeah, it's basically a quick effect, just like uh, the hot red dragon arch in the bis And yeah, it's. Uh, it offers some uh, some more protection as well uh, to your face-up monsters, all of them, not just Marinces monsters. Well, you need to control a, a, a link to a higher Marinces monster, which is not a problem at all since Coral Anemone is very easily summonable, not to mention Marble Rock as well, as well as Wonderheart, but that all depends on whether you run her as uh, or not. And yeah, this is also ran at 2 or 3 just like current, so yeah. Now it's time for con uh, for the grades. In terms of consistency, they're cybers monsters, water monsters, so they have uh, so they have access to some generic cyber searching consistency as well as some generic water support. Uh, they have a lot of monsters with special summoning conditions, and yeah, they usually uh, stick out in the terms of consistency. So I'll definitely give them, give them a three out of three in that regard. Their power is not usually that present, uh, it usually relies on their high, uh, much higher link monsters uh, combined with some battle buffs f from some of their trap cards and Sea Star, which is not the most consistent uh, power out output, but it's still better than nothing, so I'll give him a 2 out of 3. Uh, comeback ability usually depends on uh, uh, stuff like uh, Mandarin and, uh, 
and uh, seahorse and uh, basically reviving a key link monster in order to uh, further your plays. Uh, it's not impossible, but it, but it's a bit too specific to do so at the time, um, at certain times. So, yeah, I'm gonna give him a, a two out of three there as well. Protection exists, uh, and it's pretty formidable, but it still requires on a you use summoning a specific link monster and using that specific link monster in order to summon other link monsters and uh, even uh, even having a field spell up in order for the protection to be relevant so yeah it's a bit of a, a bit inconsistent but still the the kind of protection it offers is absolutely amazing so I'll give him a 2 out of 3 there as well and as for the versatility well there are water cybers monsters again everything I said in the consistency uh, applies here not to mention you can actually splash in some other uh, um, a link monster which can uh, help out in the extra deck toolbar maybe maybe the mermail uh, link monster actually helps out a bit there so yeah I'm gonna give him a, a 3 out of 3 in, um, in terms of versatility and those were Marinces monsters so yeah this is actually the second archetype uh, we use the first one was of course trick stars which we'll get into soon and I like I would have actually liked if, um, if she stick to trick stars because I like their design a bit more and I think the trick stars were a bit uh, better in terms of uh, execution and everything it's another great example of uh, Yu-Gi-Oh's character changing uh, from a better archetype to a worse archetype kinda like Judai did with uh, pure elemental heroes to elemental hero neospatian builds and how Ryo Marafuji changed from cyber dragons to cyber darks and I could go on and on but yeah this video is nearing half an hour so yeah and yeah next time we're going to take a look at another Reigns archetype another second archetype that was used by a certain character so yeah Look forward to that, and thank you all so much for watching. Stay tuned for more videos, doctors, and updates. Comment, like, and subscribe. And as usual, I'll upload the next vid whenever I can. See you all. Have a good day, and peace.